Remember the first friend you ever made, how you knew them and they knew you. And there was nothing that either of you could ever say, no revelation that could separate this union of two souls, two homes, delving deep into the unknown to make known. You know, it's been a while since I felt known. Like, what do you really know? And what if they really knew? What if they saw every blunder and wondered, is all this true? What if they charged down my barricades where hidden things can stay away and I can go to hide and say, I'm lonely in my hiding place? The sole inhabitant of this barren landscape, I'd trace the outline every day of my shadow if there were one. But we haven't seen light here for a while now. And sometimes I wish that I could feel like a child now back when there was nothing covered and nothing to be hidden. Back when fear was undiscovered and shame was still a riddle. Back when I felt fully known and yet felt fully loved. All reviewed, but nothing judged. Don't you wish to be known like that? To never wonder how long it will last? To translate the fabricated tapestry of hopefully distorted memories into the deep-set foundation of a reality. To know a love so firm that tsunamis of shame could flood the beaches of your social sphere. But these roots run deep. No storm could remove them, no wave could uproot them. No single thing that the anxious cogs of your mind could concoct could ever confuse this love with any other. For this love is a love that knows me, a love that has promised to never disown me, a love so vast that mountain peaks and valley troughs would marvel at its magnitude and majesty. Unmoving, unchanging, always was and is and always will be. A love that knows me, intimately. With nothing to be found, this love will always be enough. For the place where we are fully known is the place we're fully loved.